Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, this is Jay Gamer, and I hope you guys are doing absolutely amazing. In today's video guys, and this is an actual working method, and I am going to be showing you how to get unlimited scoreboard on Fallout 76. This is not a joke around guys, this is an actual working method. This method will 100% work for you, and I will be telling you guys step by step on how to do this method. It is extremely simple and I will be able to guide you guys step by step on how to do this. By the way guys, I will be doing a giveaway into today's video. So if you guys would like to have the chance to win 50,000 lead, because I am giving away some lead in today's video, all you guys have to do is drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and please put a comment down below with your gamer tag, and I will be doing a raffle in the comment section down below. And if you do end up getting a friend request from me, that means you are the winner. Anyways guys, enough of that. Let's get right into this video, and I'm going to tell you guys exactly step by step on how you guys can do this method. Okay guys, so I have actually talked about this method before on the channel, but considering that, as you guys do know, there is a lot of brand new Fallout players that are coming to the game, plus this method is probably not going to end up getting patched. I mean, it's a possibility, but they haven't patched it yet. But just because as there is a lot of new players that are coming to the Fallout community, which is really good to see, I do want to continue remaking these videos so the newer players are able to see these methods. So this method is extremely overpowered, just please pay attention to exactly the steps that I tell you, and then it will make a lot of sense and you will understand exactly on how this is going to work. So technically, as you guys do know, um, there is challenges in Fallout 76, right? So if I go to combat right now, oh no, so sorry, survival, I think it is, is it in survival? No, it's combat, what am I doing? If I go into combat, you'll see some challenges here. It says craft mines, craft grenades, uh, what is this, craft or scrap armor. There is a lot of challenges here, and look how much atomic points you guys can get, right? Now this is, and all of these are really simple, not these ones here, these are killing things, that's, that's not really important. We want to move on to the simple and easy ones. Modern weapon. So simple. Mono shotgun. So simple. Like, all of these are very easy challenges, right? Now, you're probably thinking, well, how are you meant to do this constantly and do this over and over and over? The challenges have already been done. And you guys are probably thinking that. And I am going to ask, answer, like, ask, like, answer that question for you, or if you are thinking that. So, technically, the way that it works is I am going to, I have another Steam account, which is not this Steam account. And what I do is I unlink and relink our uh, Fallout accounts on my other Steam account. And what I do is I have two computers, so what I do is I join up on my main account. And as you guys do know, I'm extremely rich on materials. So it doesn't matter how much materials I give to that account. It would not matter at all because I have so much materials, like completing those challenges, it's like I would be losing nothing. So I would be giving all the materials that I need to complete every single challenge to the brand new Fallout account that I just created. And it'll be like, I don't know, a level 5 account because it's, you know, it's obviously brand new. And then I complete all the challenges and then now that brand new Fallout account would have over 2,000 atomic points and it's just like I just got 2,000 atomic points for free. Now... As the atomic points are onto the new account, then second step that you got, well, the next step that you guys want to do is you guys want to head over to the Fallout, uh, the Fallout website. Now, I don't know if a lot of you guys do know this, but they added a gifting system to Fallout 76. But the thing is, you have to make a support ticket for it. But do not worry, guys. It literally works every time because I literally do this every time. It will take about two to three days for them to get back to you and you will literally better unlock a bunch of scoreboard tiers. I know it's a lot of methods but hey guys if you think of it it's literally over 2000 atomic points and it almost just feels like it's free atomic points at the end of the day and you're just going to be getting free tiers so much more faster so I mean it is kind of worth, worth the wait but hey just, just try this out. If you are rich on materials I would 100% do this. So what you do is you make a support ticket and then you say, hello, I want to purchase a bunch of tiers and ranks for my friend's scoreboard. And I have the atomic points and I want to gift it to him. Once when you guys say that in the, tech, in the chat thing, all you have to do is wait for one of the, um, you know, one of the pe people that work uh, in, the, in the company to get back to you. And then what they'll do is they'll gift it to your main account. And then boom, you'll literally go up in the scoreboard and you'll be just getting a bunch of tiers. 
Now, this method is insane. I haven't done it just yet, but I will be doing this very soon. I did it last season, and I used to, I made two brand new Fallout accounts, and I did this method, and it literally, it was really overpowered. I didn't even have to put that much effort into completing the scoreboard because I did this, and I, it took me about, uh, more, about more than six days just to completely, fully complete the scoreboard, I think. I can't really remember how many days it took. I think it was like... It, it might have been way more than six days. Maybe I'm just over exaggerating, but it didn't really. It didn't really feel like it, t it took that long, you know. But yeah. But anyways, guys, this is exactly on how to do the method. It's very very simple. And if I will be doing a bunch of junk giveaways in the future, so if you guys do want to enter in my junk giveaways, just make sure you guys always stay tuned on the channel, and maybe I will be able to help you guys out with that. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you got, hopefully this information and this little tip will help you. Make sure to do this method as fast as possible, considering that they might actually, like, they might realize that people are abusing the gift system by doing this, and they could actually end up, like, maybe removing the gift system. The system, like, the, you, you never know, guys. So, I would just, like, do this just before, and just in case, because... I know I've posted this a few times and people have probably already tried this method that I made up. So I would do this as fast as possible because if they realize that maybe people are abusing it, they might actually end up patching it. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Hope you guys have an amazing day. If you have any questions or anything to ask, feel free to put it in the comment section down below. If this information was helpful, please smash a like on this video. That would really help me out. And I do hope all of you guys do have an amazing day. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out, everybody.